What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. All of the secret cards from Japan Single Strike and Rapid Strike Master Sets have been revealed, which is really exciting because these cards should become a part of our upcoming Battle Style set due out March 19th. Now I'm really stoked on the set, looks like it's going to be a ton of fun and I can't wait to show off these new cards, but before we do, let's head on over to FullGripGames.com. FullGripGames.com is your one-stop shop for all the best Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. And we're also always buying bulk and singles, so if you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. It's really easy to use. I've got a video here on the buy list page explaining how to submit a buy list. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell us, you send us the cards, and we send you the cash, or the store credit, or a new booster box, whichever you choose. And of course, selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky G. Gym. Now, let's check out those new secret rares. Big shout out to PokeBeach.com for posting this news story. There are so many hype secret rares on their way. I mean, just take a look at these full art cards. The Pokemon Company has done an amazing job with the production of their Pokemon cards. They have made some incredibly collectible cardboard, have they not? Just take a look at Tapu Koko V and Flapple V here. The full arts have improved so much over the course of the past couple of years. I mean, just look at this Oracorio GX and the Flygon GX with those plain colored background, even uh, Alolan Persian GX, Arceus Dalga and Palkia GX. Of course, the alternative arts were amazing, but those full art cards have really been improved quite a bit. Just look how dynamic this Tapu Koko V and Flapple V look. The Flapple V with the gold and blue swirls in the background there, the rainbow swoosh in the back of that Tapu Koko V. The cards just look so much more dynamic and I think the collectability of these new Pokemon cards is really really off the charts my buddy Sean loves Mimikyu I know he's going to be looking for this Mimikyu full art card which looks amazing but the new V Maxes look absolutely astounding I mean here's just your regular full art or Shifu V single strike right and then you've got the alternative art, which just looks stunning, right? You can see all the detail in this Urshifu V. The background looks awesome, just lifting that stone over its head. But the VMAX looks so tough. I mean, look at the background, the detail in the background on this card. One of my criticisms of the VMAX cards up until this point is that they've looked a little bit busy. The backgrounds can kind of look like they've got too much going on. This background and this card, I feel like Pokemon really nailed it with the execution of these newest VMAX cards. Just look at this single strike Urshifu VMAX. This card looks incredibly tough. I mean, what an amazing artwork on that card. And if we take a look over at the... Uh, Urshifu VMAX as well. I mean, that just looks so insane. Look at all of the water Pokemon swirling around that Urshifu VMAX. You've got a little Cramorant in there, a little Cramorant with an Aracuda in its mouth just swirling around this thing. I mean, what an incredible set of uh, VMAX artworks we've got here. And then we've also got a bunch more gold cards that have been revealed as well. A golden single strike energy, a golden shiny Houndoom. This is the Houndoom that accelerates the energy to your single strike Pokemon. So that is going to be a very, very cool chase card for the set. And a golden experience share on the single strike side. But I know I'm getting ahead of myself here because we've got a lot of other cool art artworks to look at. We've got the full art Tyranitar V as well as the alternative art Tyranitar V, which I think is my favorite card in the set that I've seen so far. Just the artwork on this thing is so sick and it reminds me uh, a little bit of the, I mean, they just keep giving Tyranitar good cards, right? If we take a look at the, what, Sableye and uh, Tyranitar, right, card. It uh, just looks so sick, right? Uh, Save light. This one, right? This one was just such a cool, not you. This one was such a cool artwork, the Tyranitar and the Sableye, Sableye kind of eating the gems. It tells a little bit of a story, and that's why it reminds me a little bit. Uh, you've got Tyranitar and Sableye kind of hanging out there, and similarly, you've got Tyranitar and Pig Knights just hanging out here with all of the food, and I love cards that tell a story, which is one of the reasons why I love this artwork so much. I mean, not only uh, the fact that I just really enjoy the Pokemon Tyranitar and Pig Knight, but it's also telling a little bit of a story, and you can see a little bit more of the story on the Pig Knights and and Embor and Tepig cards in the rest of the uh, of the set, which I think is really cool. We've got a 
Full Art Stoutland, as well as Full Art Bruno and Phoebe. And these cards look awesome. I suspect that Phoebe is going to be quite a chase card for Pokemon collectors. I think that uh, Full Art Trainer cards have seen quite an increase in value over the course of the last year or so. So I think that these cards will be no exception to that. I mean, what an amazing artwork there on the Phoebe with a floral background. Just a beautiful looking card. Bruno's got an amazing stance here on his full art supporter as well full art supporters are definitely incredibly collectible and we've got the full art single strike mustard which looks very dynamic as well the pose on that card is amazing and the background just looks super super dope and then of course we've got our rainbow rare cards as well rainbow rare Flapple VMAX, Rainbow Rare Tapu Coco VMAX, and we've got the Bruno, the Phoebe, and the Mustard as well. Cricketune getting its own full art. I think this Cricketune is going to be a very good card. It's got its music notes there kind of swirling around the background, and I really like this kind of rainbow explosion in the back of Victini with the classic peace sign is showing off. And, of course, we've got Empoleon full art, but this Empoleon alternate art with the phalanx, and then look at its pose just kind of uh doing some sort of uh judo pose here it looks like or some sort of meditation pose in the in the forest i mean it just looks amazing they're kind of on these rocks actually in a stream and there's a, a mianfu in the background which is just so cool and like i said i love cards that tell a story and there's definitely a story going on here uh, with this Empoleon alternative art. So that is got to be just one of the uh, one of the sickest cards in the set for sure. The Necrozma does look a little busy. There's a lot going on here on the Necrozma, but it's definitely super dope. I mean, Necrozma is what, like a prism Pokemon? So like, what is it even? But uh, definitely looks really cool. I like that it's the prism Pokemon, right? And then there's like the rainbow prism. You can kind of tell with the artwork, which looks really sick. And we've got Corviknight. Wow. I didn't actually see this card. Wow, sorry, Corviknight. We've got to look at uh, Urshifu Rapid Strike alternative artwork. This thing looks incredible. Like like I said, doing that, uh, doing that kind of ninja pose there, standing on what looks to be a kind of single rock in the middle of some sort of cavern or something like that. Uh, it's got water swirling all over it. That just looks uh, looks really incredible. And then the full art version as well. I have to say, I am a big fan of these newest alternate arts for these uh, for these guys. I mean, that single strike Urshifu V just looks really sick as well. And uh, the rapid strike version is definitely not disappointing. Corviknight's getting a nice full art. And of course, Karina with uh, her roller skates there doing some sort of wild kick. Her foot just going completely off of the card. But Karina looking great on that card as well. And uh, who are you? Cheryl, Cheryl, that's right, Cheryl. How could I forget Cheryl? Anyway, Cheryl, your card looks very nice. I have to say, this is just a gorgeous card. It kind of's got some Legend of Zelda vibes. I mean, with the forest in the background, the green and the and the light just kind of pouring down out of the sky. Definitely a gorgeous card. Very, very beautiful artwork there on Cheryl. And of course, we've got our Rainbow Rares, Victini V Max, Mustard Rapid Strike, Karina, Cheryl, and the Urshifu V Max, Rainbow Rare Corviknight V Max as well. And a Golden Octopus, Golden Rapid Strike Energy, as well as Golden Level Ball, I have to say. The card that I think that I'm most excited about is that Golden Level Ball. Level Ball has been one of my favorite item cards in the last 10 years, and I'm very excited that Level Ball is getting a reprint. Even more excited that Level Ball is getting its own golden artwork, which should just kind of cement its uh, existence. I don't know. I feel like whenever an item card gets a golden artwork, it really kind of cements its existence in the history of the Pokemon TCG. So definitely excited for Level Ball getting its own secret rare, and of course, course that Octillery is uh, really sick as well. Octillery Rapid Strike gets a Rapid Strike card out of the deck and into your hand so that is a great choice for the Golden Artwork. I really like that the, the Pokemon Company has been choosing good Pokemon to give Golden Artworks to like the Primate Wisdom Oranguru. So let me know in the comments below which of these amazing Secret Rare cards are you most excited about and hope 
gets released in battle styles. Thank you guys all so much for watching the video again. Big shout out to Poke Beach for hosting these images and breaking the news story for us. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. And of course, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com where we are always buying Vulcan singles. And of course, selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. That's it. Y'all have a most busted day. Peace.